nil against St Hereford. Uh, overall, another good point. Another frustrating evening with chances being missed again. At one point, I thought we were going to score a hat full and we ended up scoring none. But um, overall, as I say, a good performance. Yeah, I, I, you know, you look at Hereford's side. Uh, I mean, John was speaking before the game. Is that, um, you know, we'd watched their, their games at York and, and Fars close, uh, closely. And um, they're a different animal now. Uh, they've got good players anyway. They've always had good players this season. Um, but to be fair to, to you know to Josh and Steve, they you know they've got them playing with a bit of tempo, brought good players in, you know like the nine. Um, so we knew we was up against it. You know they, we knew they were a good team. I, I think they'll be a top you know a, a top playoff side next next year. Um, it's, it, it, it's it's a good squad of players and and, and, a, and, a, and a big club. So we knew what was coming into. Um, but on the on the flip side of that, you know I read Josh's um, you know remarks building into the game and. You know, they said they'd beaten York and they said they'd beaten Farsley, but they were coming up against a, you know, a different animal tonight. And I, and I think I took that as being complimentary, not not in a, in any way negative. And um, you know, I think what 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 we've done is that we're, you know, we people are starting to look at us differently, um, probably than they did, you know, fourteen games ago. And and that's a positive. That's a positive. But you know, now what we're asking the boys to do is, you know, we've got to reinvent ourselves a little bit, and we've got to be. A little bit more cuter. Um, we've got to make better decisions, and especially in the final third, we've got to be a little bit more ruthless. And um, it was a bit annoying tonight that once again I, th I thought overall, maybe being biased here, but I thought we had the line share of uh, of the game. Um, but in the in the in the areas that we, we get into where we we create good chances, you know, it's that little bit of know how, that little bit of something just to um, to finish it off and. Um, that's frustrating, but we, look, we've, we've come a long, long way in what is it, 14, 15 games, um, you know. But I've said to the players, I want more now. You know, the, the, the pressure's on now for us to to evolve and to um, and to keep keep moving forward. Well, it's one win in seven games, isn't it? We've only scored a couple of goals at home in the last uh, with the last four games that we've played. Yeah. It must be a bit of a worry in that respect. I mean, I know we've gained points, we've got ourselves out of trouble, which is fantastic. But now, as you say, looking forward, we need to get those goals in the net and make those draws into wins. That must be a, again a frustrating side for you, saying that we've got the positivity <laughs> and we can do it. I know the surface is now. We've just walked across the ground, and believe me, it's a quagmire, isn't it? It, it can't it, help it, for, it, for the purest. I, I, but... I, I think until you walked on the pitch you know and that's this way credit credit to both set of players um but we've got some technically very very gifted players and uh, you know we, we've talked about the service and, and i don't want to make it an excuse uh it, it's getting people to understand that you know we have to do certain things at home to uh, to combat the, the you know the service we're playing on we've got some really gifted players that, that, that want to want to pass the ball we want to entertain we want to create chances and i, to be honest, I think we're creating chances it's it's having that little bit of know-how. I mean, the, the one tonight, I think they hit the post and bounced up and hit Amari on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you need things like that to, to sometimes go for you, but the, the boys are giving their all. Um, you know, even you know, all the way through the squad, uh, the boys are working extremely hard. They, they're listening, they're learning, um, sometimes missing that little bit of something. Um, but let's not forget, you know, 14 games ago, uh, you know, I've just said in my, my previous interview, you know, I thought when I came in, and I still maintain now, is that this would probably want to be one of the uh, the biggest achievements I've had in management because I I think everyone around thought the game, you know, the club was dead and buried in well, terms was, of re relegation. So, look, I, I, I talk about my impatience, but I know I've got to be patient here and um, and build the club in in the right way. And the first thing is we've got to walk before we can run. And the first thing to do is this season is to is to guarantee that we're in this league this year. Uh, for next year when we do that you know we'll take stock see what see what you know how we can improve you know as a team as a club um you know as a management team everything we, we need to improve in, in every area we can and um you know we'll go into next season if we achieve our goals and we, you know we'll try and improve in terms of uh, of our consistency and, and, and see where that can take us but it, look, everyone's working hard you know from you know from the tea lady Upwards, and that, that's what that, that's the love of this uh, this football club is that you know everyone seems to be in it together. Um, it's just probably a little bit frustrating for for some of the supporters, myself, even the players that you know sometimes in the dominant periods of the game that we haven't turned that into mm. goals. Um, you can almost sense the goal going in. You, you're almost you know, and then suddenly it's 
a letdown anticlimax. Well, I mean, it felt like some of the supporters were trying to suck the ball into the net tonight. And, and well, to be honest, yeah, to be honest <laughs> ball, it, it's it's been our, our Achilles heel. Um, I think even, you know every game we've lost, up, apart from the Altrincham game at home, I think we've had chances to win every game. And um, the frustrating thing is, you know, if puts and maybes, but if we'd have put some of the chances away, just mm. on on averages, some of the chances we've created home and away is that we do, we'd have been clear of, of, of the relegation zone now and, and maybe, maybe just, you know, outside the playoffs. So there's lots of things to, to embrace, a lot, lot of things to be to be pr pleased of and proud of. Um, let, let's not, you know, take anything away. We was up against the next Football League Club today. That, that we've got great resources. Probably has the Linnell John Lewis. He's no yeah. mug, is he? Shows Martin Riley, I've had. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you look through the side, you've got good players all the way through the side. So... Um, you know, but we've got good players. It's just that some of them are, you know, at different stages. They've got good experience. Riley at centre half. You know, the, the big nine that you know, football league experience, and 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 this is a learning curve for our players. So I, I don't want to get too, you know, too despondent. Um, I've just said to the players then is that I think on Saturday there was a bit of anxiety on our play. That you know we're still down there and we haven't we haven't quite you know got out of there but we've got to enjoy i think you've got to enjoy this game you know even every kind of challenge that comes your way whether you mm. you're going for promotion or relic or trying to avoid relegation you've got to embrace it and you've got you, otherwise the game doesn't it stops becoming enjoyable i think though really i know until we're mathematically secure or safe um we can't really sort of celebrate staying in this league but it's going to be a calamity isn't there if we're going to go down eight points clear of the team in second from bottom with four games in hand i mean it's going to have to be a, a coronavirus type you know deficit to destroy us isn't it, well, it, it the thing is though it happens and well bradford uh, park out of avenue beat king's lynn didn't they one nil tonight you know? I think, well this yeah. one just say it just happens you know hereford go to york beat, beat them 4-1 um it happens. It happens in football. Uh, I don't trust football. I would rather. I would rather look back and go. We've done all we can, and we, we've, we've, you know, we, we've dotted every I and, and crossed every T, and we've achieved it. Um, and then look back and, and just uh, analyse what what needs improving and and go from there. Let's say at the minute, it's uh, in a, in, a, in a game of chess, which it is. You know, with all the clubs down there, and these, these clubs going up to Leamington and, and that that could get pulled into it. Hereford could still get pulled into it. AFC um, Telford on Saturday. I mean, yeah, and, um, you know, there's a lot of clubs that could. You know, in, in my experience in football, uh, in the promotion races, there's always some come on someone that comes from nowhere. You know, wins the playoffs, and in the relegation battle, there's always someone that gets sucked into it late on um, because they 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 haven't planned accordingly. So. You know, myself, the players, management, you know, you know, all the, all the you know, the, the, the owners and, and chairman at the club, we, you know, we, we just want to make sure that um, we're doing things right, we're professional right till the end, and then we can, you know, we can have a sit down, have a beer and, 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 and joke about about the season, but, but more importantly, plan accordingly to, to, to see how we can improve as a football club. Okay, Paul, thank you very much for your frankness on that. We'll thank see you at um, AFC Telfer for another another go again. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. so you guys, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.